Hello and welcome back to Somo Diecast. My name is Ron. Well, here it is, September already, and it's time for the Diecast International Builders Road Trip Invitational. And I picked up this uh, little 67 Camaro, and uh, it came with no shoes. So I looked at it as long as I could and popped it out of the blister and decided I'm going to put some wheels on this little, little beast. No Camaro should go through life without its wheels. So that is going to be our project for this build. So let's get it blown apart. Take a look at the pieces and parts and see what kind of road trip car that I can build out of this thing. Everybody, please stay tuned. All right, we got a little 67 Camaro all blown apart. This one had a lot of issues. It had a little paint issue on the side over here. It didn't get painted very well. Got a little nick in the paint. Yeah, I guess there's just crud on it. But uh, like I said, when I picked this up, it had no wheels. So I went ahead. It's been sitting around in the blister for a while and I just couldn't bear it any longer does have the opening hood so we're gonna leave that intact I'm not gonna to try to take that out but uh, nice little car two posts already drilled and tapped for the 256 screws and a beautiful bright red window unit so I don't know if I have another 67 with a clear window. We may have to just deal with that and find a complimentary paint color for it. <clears throat> nice little interior. Very bare bones, but uh, 67 Camaros weren't, weren't very highly uh, accessorized unless you paid the price for it. Metal base. Got some nice header details, drive shaft and the rear end. And that's about all we got on the base. But you can kind of see where they kind of halfway crimped it, but there was nothing in here holding those wheels, and there weren't any wheels in the in the package. So, well, that is the pieces and parts we're going to play with. So let's get that casting in the stripper, and we'll figure out something for the rest of this as far as. I got lots of wheels. I'll pick out a good kind of complimentary, typical 67 hot rod wheels for it, and we'll get this build going. Everybody, please stay tuned.
All right, before we get to the reveal, let's take a moment and look back at where we started. This is a Hot Wheels 1967 Camaro that came with no shoes. So, we're going to go ahead and get to the reveal and see what I was able to do with this beautiful little car. Everybody, please stay tuned. Well, here it is, our completed 1967 Camaro, all done up for a road trip in candy apple red with some nice eh, 70, early 80s panel painting. I thought it was fitting for the, uh, the car and, uh, it, you know, if I'm going to go take a road trip, I'm going to enjoy it in the best way I can think of to enjoy it is to jump into a custom 1967 Camaro with a big 350 in it, maybe a four-speed, set a nice Anson Sprint mad wheels on it, and just head in some direction and see where we wind up. It's my favorite way to take a road trip. Anyway, this was a fun little build, and of course this is the... Uh, September Road Trip Invitational for the Diecast International Builders. And be sure you go out and check out all the other builders that participated. Check out Matchbox Mark, Caleb over at Opaz Diecast Customs and Workshop, and uh, Kuda at Kuda's Diecast Customs, my fellow members here at Diecast International Builders. I'm sure there will be some others that participated and I look forward to seeing what everybody did. And be sure to send me a glamour shot if you took part in our build and I will put it into the recap which will be out in a, a week or so. Anyway, this was a sweet little build. Loved every minute of it. I, I love a Camaro and especially the uh, late 60s uh, Camaros. The later ones were all right, but no, the, the first generation, that's the only way to go. Well, thank you again for watching. I appreciate all of my uh, subscribers and watchers and uh, comments. I love the comments. And uh, be sure uh, if you're, uh, be sure you give me a like. And if you are not a subscriber, please do. And when you subscribe, be sure you Ring the bell so you'll be notified of future builds when they're available. And be sure you share with your friends. Well, thank you all once again, and I will see you in the next.